One call from my uh, unknown. I flop top pair second kicker, and there's a flush draw on the board, so I'm going to bet out pretty strongly here because I don't have a flush draw to come. Um Probably 18 cents will be good. That, um, that leaves me with 39 and a pot of 42, so I can shove on the turn if, um, if the flush doesn't complete. I didn't really think of that before, but uh, it just so happens that that's a nice amount, and I'm going to have to remember that from now on. I'm going to ask myself if I'm going to be going all in with these hands or not. <sighs> Oh shit, well, I would have flopped two pair. Now, that doesn't actually matter, because if I had a hit call, then an entirely different flop would have come down, because it's random. It depends on so many random variables. Every millisecond makes a difference. So, sick. You know, I know the button. Once again, people looking at If I had a bit more, um... If I had a bit more stats on this guy, I might consider, um... Betting out here. I mean, in the eight hands he's played, he's never raised. So, he both says he has a hand. And when, he, when a guy raises 5%, raises, I mean, you usually take it seriously, right? Well, I guess I'm new to this uh, stats thing, um, but I think that's a reasonable assumption. Oh, Ace King. This is the hand that I lose the most with. That's kind of depressing. Now, I only have 3k hands or so, but still. Like, it's just so annoying. So I'm up against Alan again. I'm sure he's going to be pissed off soon that I keep on racing his limp. It was profitable. Sorry, Alan. I can be fairly certain if you three bet me that I'm screwed. Eh, I hope he doesn't do that. Sweet. Clawing back the profit with Ace King. Okay, so we've been recording for nearly half an hour now, I think. Just uh, maybe 25 minutes or so. Um, I'm really bad at paying attention to these things, apparently. Um, yeah. This is a Korean song um, that's fairly old, so nobody in Korea knows it anymore, because their um, they're pop music has a shorter half-life than pop music in the U.S. Like, yeah. <clears throat> I need some water. I'm talking myself raw. I don't think the peanut butter's helping, though. Mm. But it's so good. Ooh, pocket nines. Now, this is actually the hand that I think I have the most one with. I don't mind that. We're gonna open raise here. Sounds a big blind. I've got V Bulletin to my left, which is great because he's gonna fold most of the time. We've got Andrew, who's gonna. Well, I got two unknowns. Oh no, I got Flux as well. So that's okay. Um, pocket deuces. I. You know what? I'm feeling brave. Let's have some fun here. If I don't flop a deuce, or I'm up against more than one opponent, I don't do a thing. Doyle Brunson, oh, well, there's a three bet, and I'm gonna fold faster than you can say, kill the helm. Um, complete unknown, but he had a three bet me, so. With position, I might have. I'm gonna have to keep in mind that his three bet was also fairly close was also nearing an appropriate size, so he might actually be an okay player. Um, let's see. Oh, wasn't that a lovely sight? I'm actually only just about break even with aces. They've been broken so many times. Raises it up to 10. Wow, this is a raise over limper hand from heaven. I get a flag call immediately by <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have aces or kings. <laughs> oh, what an ugly board. Jack-10 is the nuts. That's just, well... With a board like this and two opponents, I'm going to be betting it strong, and if I get re-raised, I can be pretty certain that they have... Wow. Wow. 
two talls like lightning. Like, that's not good. Now this is, um, this is... I've still got an overpair. I think... Let's just see what happens on these two tables for a minute. I think I should shove here. And the reason why I think so... They don't have the drawing odds, and I got two callers, I think. He might shove, and I hope he does, unless he's got jack-10. Ah, Jesus Christ. I don't like this. I think it might be beat, but... Oh my god! Okay, bad player. Wow, bad. Epic, straight, draw, chase. Was this guy chasing with... What? Was he chasing with Queen Jack? At least Spike had an OESD. I'm making a note that this guy went to the river... ...with a gut shot. And that was a massive hand. Holy Jesus. Well, needless to say, I'm not posting the blinds. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. By Jiminy. And unfortunately, that hand um, grew most of my attention, so I think I might have... No, it looks like I pulled it. But... Ace Jack of Clubs again. On the big blind, no less. Oh. Just a little while ago, I had this hand that I raised over a ton of limpers. Oh, too bad I don't get to raise Alan again. Well, V Bulletin is so tight. I'm gonna be worried about. Yeah, I'm gonna raise it to eight here. That's pretty easy to hold. And I get a call. Now there's. Only two aces that beat me, and I think they would have raised pre-flop here. So I'm going to continuation bet, and I'm going to be careful. Um, I think I've got the best hand at this point, but that's yet to be decided. I'm out of position. Well, that's okay. I am on fire tonight. Like, I've just been... Wow. This has been a good session so far. Look at that. I am up two and a bit buy-ins. Wow. Now I made sure that you guys can't... Holy shit. Pardon my French. If I, um... If I make 50 more cents... Wow. Well, it looks like my goal of getting 75% for uh, my status to date is going to be reachable. Now it's coming up on 11... 10 past 11. And I'm... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start looking for a new table. This Rancagua. Mm -hmm. Wow, I got a lot of notes on this table, so I'm gonna... Oh! God, that's frustrating. Now, if everybody... No, oh, I actually can't. Yeah, this is the one that I have, like, two bucks on. It's just insane. Insane. Join the table. Come to fold. Yes. Oh, sweet. So I've got another fairly profitable situation here. My big blind has really been paying off this um, tonight. Usually it's a place you lose a lot of money from, apparently, um, but tonight has definitely been the opposite. I've gotten um, a couple of couple of pretty solid hands here. So let's see what goes on. Am I going to get a walk? Andrew. She's 11. And I'm going to be careful because I I can re-steal with this hand, but I'm not going to be shoving with it. I'm going to try to generate some extra fold equity here by betting 20. Any calls? Shit. Um, well that's not good. 
I probably should have raised a bit more here. Um, if he's got a mate flush, then I am done. If he does, I've got outs for a full house. What does he have? What does he have? Oh my god! Wow! That was huge! That was absolutely huge. Um, what did he call it? I'm sort of in shock here, first of all, because this is a, like... He called it a gut shot. Well, I think he's my new best friend. You know what? I'm gonna give it another try. I am running hot tonight. I'm gonna raise from early position with a deceptive hand. Is he trying to give away the last 46 cents? He's probably gonna go all in with a three. And I get three that again. This time by Andrew. I'm definitely not going to be playing this hand. It's definitely a bluff raise, so... Hmm. Wow. And this is a hand I shove with. So I'm begging for a re-raise here. Alan. Yeah, buddy, you like giving me money. Oh. Ace is always spoil of fun. Okay, well. Alan strikes me as the kind of guy that's going to call with any ace. If that's the case, I've got a two outer. He's mildly overbet the pot. Yeah, I think I might be beat here. He could also be um, donk shove, donk betting with a ten. Like I think he's he's that kind of guy. But I'm gonna give him credit for the ace here, and I'm not gonna lose it. 